Since we don't want to get caught, we plan ahead, are we crazy or what? We plan ahead, are we crazy or what? Hi, I'm Bill, Self-Reliance School. Today I'd like to give you a demonstration of the All-American Sun Oven. This is a nice little device that's an off-grid cooking oven. You get anything that you can do in your home oven, or even most things you can do on your stove, you can do in this. Now, I'm here in Texas in the middle of August. The sun's beating down on us, so that means it's about 100 to 105 degrees every day. Our air conditioner's just working overtime, so anything that we can do to keep the kitchen a little cooler helps. So, we like to cook a lot of our meals outside in this and keep the stove off, keep the kitchen from getting hot. So, let's take a look at some of the features and the way this works. So, the sun oven measures about 22 inches wide by 20 inches deep, and it weighs about 19 pounds. So it's really not something that you're gonna take with you on a backpacking trip. It's something you're gonna use at home or maybe on a car camping trip. It's made out of plastic, aluminum, wood, with a glass cover. I'll get into all the details on the inside in a minute. It does have a little carrying handle here so you can carry it around with you. Now I've got it sitting on an old bar stool I just took the back off the bar stool and put a plywood top on it. That way I can spin the sun oven so that it tracks the sun. But if that's not needed. You can set it on the ground or on a table and just spin it manually. I like getting it up off the ground. That way you don't have to bend over and stir your food. Now here on the back, we have an adjustable leg that allows you to change the angle of the sun oven you'll need to change the angle and the rotation as the sun moves through the sky. So the sun is directly going into the sun oven. And inside, there's a, actually a little sight. I'll show you how to use that in just a moment. So let's go ahead and set it up. So to set up the sun oven, I just need to unsnap the reflectors. They unfold. And snap in down here just in case there's any wind, that way they won't collapse on you. Now these reflectors are gonna concentrate the sun through the tempered glass into the oven itself and give you the most amount of heat that you can get in there. You've got a solid glass surface here with a gasket that will hold any of your air in. If we open it up, you've got about 15 inches by 15 inches of space here, and it's about 10 inches deep. So that's something you've got to keep in mind when you're selecting pots to use in here. Now, another thing that you have to watch out for, you've got a little swing in here. And what that does is as you tilt the sun oven, the swing stays level so that your pot stays level and nothing drips out of it. Now, this is good keeps everything clean in there, but it also limits the size of the pot that you can put in there. So say for example, the sun is high up in the sky and you've got the sun oven sitting like this. You've got about eight or nine inches from the swing to the top where any pot that's taller than that is gonna hit your glass and you won't be able to close the glass. But, when we tilt it like this, as the sun starts going lower in the sky, the swing gets closer to the edge and you lose some of the room. Now, from the swing to the top, we've only got about four inches. So, if you close the glass and you have a tall pot in there, the glass is gonna hit, you're not gonna be able to get that good seal and the sun oven won't be anywhere near as effective. So that's just something you have to plan out. If you've got a large pot, large deep pot, you're gonna wanna be cooking when the sun is higher up in the sky. Now the way you aim the sun oven is by using this simple little plastic sight. It's just a piece of plastic. There's a large hole in the top and a smaller hole in the bottom. The sunlight shines through the large hole and you wanna get the shadow that it casts centered on the smaller hole. So you simply turn the sun oven until the sunlight dot is centered on the smaller hole and then you'll lift it until it's vertically centered. And you're gonna to wanna to check this dot 
since the sun's moving through the sky, you want to check it at least every two hours. If I'm working downstairs and I've got this outside, I may go out and check it as often as every 15 minutes and make an adjustment to it. The better you have it lined up to the sun, the hotter it's going to get and the quicker your food's going to cook. But even if you can only get to it every two hours, that's fine. Your food will still cook. So today I'm going to be cooking a shepherd's pie in the sun oven. Now, if you're watching this video on YouTube, I'll leave a link to our blog below the video for the complete recipe. And if you're watching the video on our site, just keep scrolling on down. I have to cook this in two batches. First, I have to make some mashed potatoes that will cover the top of the shepherd's pie. Then I have to cook the shepherd's pie itself. So I'm starting out with a pot full of water and potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn these into mashed potatoes. I'm using a dark enamel pan I find these work the best. Dark colors absorb sunlight better than light colors, so a dark pan is going to work better than, say, an aluminum pan. And the small, thin-walled enamel pans are going to work a little better than, say, a non-stick pan. The thin wall is going to allow it to heat up faster and get the heat coming in from inside the oven. You can also use glass inside the sun oven. It works pretty good, but just like if you're putting it in the regular oven, you might need to give it another 10 or 15 minutes of cooking time. So I've got my pot sitting on the swing. I'll be able to see a little better here. If you notice, see I can rock it back and forth. So as the sun oven tilts up, the pan is gonna stay nice and level. I'm gonna go ahead and close the lid. It's got two little clips here which will tighten it down against this gasket really securely. It'll hold the heat in, and get the temperature heating up pretty quickly in there. I've got my sight aimed perfectly at the sun. So I'm gonna check this about every 15 minutes, make sure that it's aimed properly, and then I'll start testing the potatoes. As soon as they flake apart, we'll be done. So while I wait on this, I'm gonna go ahead, go inside, prepare the rest of the food. I'll be back out in just a little while. Now I've had the sun oven out here for about 20 minutes. Uh, I've got it lined up nicely with the sun. As, as you can see on the temperature gauge there, it's climbing to about 260 degrees. As long as I keep that aligned with the sun, that's gonna keep on climbing. So our potatoes should cook pretty quickly. Certainly not as quickly as if you had them in boiling water on the stove, but they should be done in about 30 or 40 minutes. Now it actually turned out to be a little bit overcast today, so my potatoes took a little longer than they normally would. It's been about an hour and 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and check them again. Now every time you open up the sun oven, you're gonna lose all the heat that's built up inside here. So you wanna make sure you do your checking, your stirring, whatever, as quickly as possible. Get it closed up as fast as you can. I'm just going to go ahead and use a fork. And it looks like my potatoes flake apart nicely. So they're ready to take in and mash. And then I will go ahead and get the next part of the recipe going. So now I've got the main ingredients for my shepherd's pie in the sun oven. I'm just using the same pot that we used before. And I'm doing a vegetarian shepherd's pie. So I've got some lentils, some vegetarian ground beef and some vegetables in there. I'm just gonna cook it long enough for all the liquid to be absorbed into the lentils. And then we'll go ahead and put the mashed potatoes on. You could just as easily do this with regular ground beef. You could actually brown the, the beef in the sun oven. You would just use a small skillet and it's gonna take you a little bit longer than it would on a stove top, obviously, but it'll still brown it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my lid on. Close it up. Now here's something I want to show you. Remember I talked about as you angle the sun oven, you lose the space. I've been bringing the sun oven up further and further because the sun's going down in the sky. And if you look, the pot is just about hitting the glass. So that's something that you want to keep in mind. You want to plan out your meals so that if you're cooking later in the day, cook something in a smaller pot that is not going to be able not going to hit the glass when you close it. So I'm going to go ahead and seal this back up. I'll go ahead, turn it, line it up with the sun again, 
and I'll check back in about an hour or so. Should take about an hour for all the liquid to be absorbed and for the lentils to be soft. Might take a little bit longer today if it continues to be overcast, but I'll start checking back in about an hour. Okay, so my shepherd's pie has been in here for about an hour and a half. I've had some pretty big clouds moving over, so it's taken a little longer than it normally would, but let's take a look at it. That looks pretty good. Everything is starting to cook together. Most of the liquid's been absorbed. Vegetables are getting nice and tender. So now I'm ready. I'm gonna go ahead and add the mashed potatoes on the top and return it back to the sun oven. So I've put a layer of mashed potatoes on the top of the shepherd's pie. I'm gonna go ahead and return it to the sun oven and let it cook for anywhere from 30 minutes to maybe an hour and a half or so. I just want the mashed potatoes to kind of puff up a little bit and get some of the juices bubbling up around the edges. So I'll check it about every 30 minutes or so and see how it's doing. Okay, let's take a look at how the potatoes are doing. That looks pretty good. You can tell that the liquid's coming up through it. Now don't forget the potatoes were already cooked. We really just kind of wanted to bake them for a little bit longer. It's taking about 30 minutes or so. So I'm gonna call that done. Now, one of the things you wanna be careful of when you're taking things out of the sun oven, it's getting a little later in the day. And as you can see, I've had to keep bringing the sun oven further and further up because the sun's going down lower in the sky. Now, if I were to just lift this pot out uh, by itself, the angle that it's at right now, the sun oven gets pretty top heavy. You lift the pot up and the whole sun oven could tip forward. So what you want to do before you take it out, when you're done with it, is to just go ahead at the back and lower it down to not quite as steep an angle. So that when you take your pot out, you don't have to worry about it tipping on you. So I'm going to take our shepherd's pie out and we're going to go have dinner. So hopefully this has given you a pretty good idea of what the sun oven is capable of. Pretty much anything you can cook in your regular oven, you can cook in the sun oven. Now if you click the link here on screen, we've got a special offer. You can get a good discount on the sun oven. We'll also put that link below the video and in the blog post. Be sure and come to selfrelianceschool.com, read the blog post for the full recipe. We've got a few other sun oven recipes for you. And we'll see you in the next video.